you both doing? Well, this is a very sad day for Boston, but I think we also celebrate his memory and you know the, his synonymousness with Boston. I just made up a word, I guess. But he was <laughs> but when you play. think of Boston, you think of Tom Menino, and I think everybody has a big hole in their heart right now. Yeah. So. And Me? Steve, I, 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 I know the sirens are. It's the you know the business of the city goes on, but yeah, no yeah. one will ever forget Tom Menino, as, right? As he would want it to. No, he. I mean, he is this city. You know, I've, I've known him for over 20 years, and and everything about this city is in the essence of Tom Menino. The people, the culture, you know, the the uh, the bootstraps uh, of Boston is is who Tom Menino is, and and always will be. And that's that's what I think of today. I it, it is a heavy heart, though. I'll miss him every day. So we certainly remember him coming out of the hospital after the marathon bombing. So I was thinking today. I don't know if you remember that, because uh, I was in Dorchester at the time. All the snow trucks were put away, and we had that horrible snowstorm on oh, April yeah. 1st. Yeah. Everybody yeah. was mad at him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he yeah. learned his lesson. He never did that again. You know what I remember? I remember the the, the Thursday after the marathon bombings, the, the the service in the Cathedral of the Holy Cross, oh. when his son stands there and he stands up. And right. speaks to the to the people. Well, obviously, just not of the people there live, but the people there on television. So it was amazing. Totally remarkable. The president was there, and the whole city mm -hmm. was still in fear, you know, as to what was going to happen. But he wanted to be there. He was part of it, and everybody knew that. So. As a, as a politician, he was a pretty powerful politician, wasn't he? He was, and I think what I learned from Tom is that you have to be yourself. That he was so authentic, one of a kind. Right. You know, you could like him, you could be mad at him, but you know, you always knew what you were getting with Tom and Dino, and he really cared about the city and the people. How, how long did you know him? How long have you known him? Do you, have I you certainly, thought about that? Yeah, I certainly knew him, you know, as I lived in Dorchester right. from 1983 on, so right. I knew him. He was on city council and then mayor. As district attorney, I worked closely with the district attorney here at the time and the mayor around crime issues. And then as attorney general, we worked closely on getting homes back on the market, making sure that people would, you know, stay in their homes after the foreclosure crisis. You know, Mayor Menino said that the two worst things about being mayor were dead children and dead police officers. Yeah. And you must have worked together on some of those terrible cases that came through the city. Well, exactly. And that is the reality of life, you know, that these things go on. Uh, we take a pause in our campaigning today to remember him. Mm -hmm. uh, but he is somebody for whom, you know, the work of keeping people safe and making the city grow on the small level, but the big picture was what was so extraordinary about so, it. So you two are, are running for office. Do politicians today, do they take a lesson from Mayor Menino, Steve? I did. He was my first meeting I took when I decided to run for lieutenant governor. We sat in the Parkland House and we yeah. talked about my vision for the job and what we could do. And his advice he gave me that day, I'll never forget, which was don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do it. Look at what I've done. Keep fighting every day. As long as you're focused on people, then you'll win and you'll do the right thing for the people that you serve. And I'll never forget that. Yeah, he, he always said he wasn't the best talker, but he's a pretty good listener. You he know? was a good listener and he had good advice. So yeah. when he did speak, you listened, listened. to him. <laughs> and he, I remember he said to me after the 2010 race, you know, just hang out with the real people. Don't you know, just hang out with the electeds and the celebrities. Get get down and meet people. And good advice because he did it. That's what he did, and that's why he was he successful. He did it. He lived it, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, he, I mean, loved, he lived it and loved and, it. And the the only thing that 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 sits in my mind today is that he ser he gave so much of his life. He served this city so proudly for so long. There wasn't enough time for Tom Menino and Angela Menino here in the end. You know. Well, it is, and yet he had some time. He wrote his book. He was able to, and I visited him this this summer when he was over at the school at BU, and I think he missed it. I mean, he didn't miss the title, right, he did, right. but he missed right. being, you know, hands on the ground, getting his, getting his hands dirty. Um, and, you know, look, we, uh, he, I think he enjoyed his life. He took control at the end as to what he was going to do fighting that illness. I have a lot of respect for him for doing that, and we certainly remember Angela and his children and his grandchildren. He leaves them and he leaves everybody in this city much better for being here. Martha, um, Steve, go he is one who used every moment he had on earth yeah. to the fullest. Uh, to, he was Tom and you know, up until the end, and I'll always remember him. Steve Garrigan, Martha, thank you so much thank for your you. time. Thank Great you. to see you this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Great seeing you. Great seeing you.